Nick, you played on that, the, the last Orange Bowl team from the University of Miami. In, in retrospect, thinking yeah. back, how did that bowl appearance affect the community and the school, do you think? Well, as I reflect back, that, uh, that game we had with Purdue, that was the turning point that whole season when we come back from Purdue and had about over 100,000 people come at the airport. That was really something, you know, to come home. And, and I think that was the turning point of our season to give us the, the lift to, to carry that team through. And uh, in fact, the whole Miami program, I think, was turned around that one game and, and continuing on through the, the Orange Bowl game, which we should have won, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, you know, we lost uh, on that safety. Well, how did it affect the community when you got that Orange Bowl bid and you played in the Orange Bowl game? What, what, what did you think it meant to the community at that point in time? Well, I think it you know, meant quite a lot. It brought the people together. It really got them behind the University uh, of Miami. You know, that was our first big bowl game since, I guess, the 46 Orange Bowl game. But uh, uh, I think this brought us together as, as a university, as a family. In fact, you see today, members of this team are still close together. We have 20, 30 people, I think, living within this area, you know, and, and there's still a lot of closeness with us uh, from, from that time, 30, what, 32 years ago, yeah. You've seen what the bid, what the Orange Bowl bid, you've seen what the Orange Bowl bid this year has done for the community here in 1983 as we embark on 84. How does this compare with 51? I think this has a much greater effect because uh, the struggling years Miami had in the 70s, and you know, this kind of brought us back in the last four or five years with Snellenberger, and of course this put the icing on the cake. You know, this really put us together. I think that uh, it has put us together more as a you know, family, and I think that uh, they're going to get the support they need. You know, and, in 50 sure, yeah. and in 51 it didn't do that? Oh either? yeah, it, it brought us together. We had some good attendance at that time. We weren't fighting the Dolphins at the time, but today they're fighting the Dolphins. They're fighting a lot of other things here, but I think this is brought us together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to help us next year in the future, and I think the program is, has turned around, and, uh, you know, we're going to look for good years uh, from here on in. Yeah. What do you remember about your Orange Bowl game? Well, all I can remember is, is that uh, the festivities, you know, during the week we had a lot of festiv festivities, and we had a uh, went to a lot of events in different places, and the big party after the game that we had over on the beach there, they had a big affair with Clemson and Miami, unfortunately. They presented the, the trophy that night, and we didn't get it, but uh, uh, I think we were pretty bitter <laughs> at that game because uh, Coach Howard from Clemson was a real digger, and he really dug uh, Coach Andy Gustafson that night, you know, about losing this and that, but I'll never forget that night because uh, it almost ended up in a rumpus over there. <laughs> that was really something. What about the game itself? What do you remember about the game itself? Oh, it was a tough game. It was a Clemson it was a rough, it was a rough, tough team, and uh, it was a rough game. Uh, we kind of lost the game on three penalties that uh, we moved down the field 15 yards. Or we moved down the field about the 50 and had three penalties in a row, put us back in the two, and lost the game on that uh, Sterling tackle and Smith. Took Sterling Smith tackle and Frank Smith in the end zone for the safety, but. Uh, we did get an opportunity to play Clemson back in the Gator Bowl game next year, and we beat them 14 nothing. So that was a revenge. Now that was the hardest, tough, uh, fought game I think we played. Clemson had real tough linemen and uh, thing, and that was a tough nose game. Both both years it was tough, yeah. But uh, the rematch in, in Jacksonville was really a good thing for us because we were really uh, kind of mad because we lost the other game the year before, you know. <coughs> Your reaction to the resurgence of the Miami program? Well, no, no doubt about it. You know, the, the program's been turned around. You know, uh, start when Snellenberger in 78 brought these kids in, that the gave them a start, and now Snellenberger got his own kids here. And it's, I think there's no way we can have a bad program now. If he keeps Snellenberger here and have these coaches here, we're just on our way. You know, uh, they're, they're going to be like the Alabamas and uh, the Auburns and all these other good schools because the uh, they got the recruiting, they got the kids going to be wanting to come here. And uh, well, just think the, the last two years, we've got about 17 kids in the pro ball, and that's what these kids want today. So that's a big step. We've got the best coaching. You know, Coach Allen has developed so many defensive players, and with my son, which is uh, on the team last year, which uh, has proven these kids want to come. Like they're going to get good, solid coaching and, uh, and help, you know, help the pros and get into the pros because any good ball player, that's his goal to get in the pro ball. And, uh, this is where you want to be. Do you think that 
you going to the Orange Bowl in 51 meant as much as this team going to the Orange Bowl in 84? I think it means more now, I think, because we, we needed it more. We needed more at this time with the program being turned around the last five years. I think this is the plateau we were, you know, we're looking for, you know, that the school was looking for. What are the differences and the similarities to the way the community has... I think they've been similar, you know, the, the rallying around the Canes and, the, you know, parties and this and that. It's the same type of uh, effect they had, you know, uh, on the thing. Is, uh, Businessmen at that time we really got around that 51 team. I think they're starting to come back to Miami, the clubs and business people to, to help the university do the things that they, they could. I remember we were in 50, we had so many different businesses come forth from the Touchstone Club and different department stores and want to do this and want to do that to help the program out. And I think that's coming back and that's kind of the effort I think we're going to need, you know, to keep it going. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tony.